Hi guys, quick update on GPPUSD. Today is episode five. So in this episode, I want to talk about what really happened yesterday. If you're really following this episode, I know you're wondering, eh, by the way, we were waiting for a sale because this is where the market was yesterday. Um, and on one hour time frame, I remember telling you guys that we have this possible double top that we have here. There was a possible double top with like a very small green candle, you could not see it. So we are hoping that the market would continue selling um, if the support was broken. And mind you, I told you, anytime you want to grow a small account, you need to be very accurate in your entries because retracement is what makes you blow your account. Retracement is what set you back from achieving your goals so this is was the trade uh yesterday as i was making that video and i told you guys wait for the market to break 2507 uh so that you can have an entry so let's see what happened uh uh the market never even came near that area and this is what i tell most of the people anytime you are about to trade just be confident with the reason for your entry so that it can be very clear. So for us, we were waiting for this zone to break so that we can enter sell. But you can see instead what happened, the market went up. So when I went to like 15 minutes to see hey, what happened, I found that the market has been ranging for a very long time. Like this market was ranging, you can see the market has been ranging. So uh, it broke, it violated our double tops. So we no longer have the double top and we were left with this ranging channel. So I had to come to, to come to a conclusion of what does the market really want? Does the market want to go past uh, the half of the distance? Because you need again to know how to trade channels, guys. You need to know how to trade ranging channels. So I had to mark my half of the distance and I was very sure of, of my area. So I knew anytime the market is coming to, has broken a channel, first it will come to TP1. There are trades that will go to TP1, that is half of the distance. And there are sometimes the market can even push to TP2. Mind you, TP2 is not guaranteed. So most of the market does this, um, hit TP1, then they can come back and retrace and then now come to TP2. But there are sometimes the market will come to TP1 and then go down and never come back to TP2. So for me, I don't necessarily trade TP2 because it's a 50-50 opportunity. Now you need to understand, I have a strategy how to tell if the trade will go to TP2 or the trade will, will just reach TP1 and go down. And that strategy is what I'm teaching in the one day masterclass is called the WA strategy. So if you're interested to learn this strategy and other two other bonuses strategy, all you need to do is to register with 12,000. It's a one day event, 12,000 for the international students, it will be $100. So the event will be $100 for the international students who are not in Kenya. So the event will be recorded and also streamed live. So, and again, when will the event be? It will be on the 10th of May. It will be on a Friday. So we are remaining 10 days, by the way, guys, to the event. So if you are interested to learn these strategies, um, subscribe, uh, uh, register, and book your spot. So. And also I have a course that is $400. So if you don't want just one strategy, you want six other strategies that is in the course uh, because I have WBB strategy, BW strategy, uh, OPT strategy, RBA strategy, CRB and CSB strategy. All these strategies are combined in one course that I charge $400. But if you want this BW strategy, uh, it will be on that package of 12K, that is $100. And the event will be, eh, it will be good. So what I'm trying to say is that if you knew the strategy, you would know if the market will go to TP2 or will just go to TP1. But just be assured, once the range breaks, the market has to go to TP1. And that's what we saw yesterday. So the market 
came to TP1 and you can see it ranged to TP1. So that's the scenario we are right now. So we are trying to know what is really happening. Uh, and you can see uh, we, we had that support area. And as we speak right now, that's how the market has behaved. So we can see we are past that area and the market is, um, is going down. Can you see? Can you see? The market came out of this area, TP1. That's what I'm saying. With that new strategy, there's the way to tell if the market will just tap the TP1 and come down or it will go to TP2. Another thing that uh, I have come to realize with the ranging channel, even if it breaks on the upper side, it will still come back to the lower side. So this channel still has an opportunity to be coming downside uh, to that area. So you can find that this market can be coming all the way here. So the question is, if you missed this ranging, how then will you trade? How then will you trade uh, this market? If we go to the daily time frame, now we have a new pattern because I love trading patterns, guys. So if you want still to trade GBP USD on the daily time frame, we have a new pattern, and this new pattern is our double top. So what happened is that the market activated this double top. Can you see this double top? That is what was activated. And then we have our neckline, and then we have our half. So that is what we have, guys. We have a double top and it's a possible double top. So this is what, this is a current market. I told you guys, I will help you to be able to analyze market every single day. So every day you see my video, it's just helping you to understand a trade. So I'm trying to help you to understand what GBPUSD is happening right now. So we are doing, uh, so if you're watching right now, it is um, telling you what to expect. So we have this possible uh, double top. And this possible double top, we can use the strategy that we use. And it is OPT, by the way. The reason why we really want this possible double top is because it's OPT. It is not on the, it is not on the weekly. So don't don't only think that this double top will only, only give us the entry. It is giving us even um, the complete uh, zones to target. Because with this double top, I can be able to tell where the market will go. So I can be able to tell in advance that if half breaks, it will go to the neckline. If the neckline breaks, it will go to the, to the half of the distance like that. So this double top is very um, important because it will be giving us hands up on where to target or where to target. So it is very, very important to go and mark it. Don't forget to mark it because as I'm doing these videos, um, you'll be able to, to find, you'll be able to find easy. So we don't know because we have news at 5 p.m. We don't know if those news will push this market and break the uh, and give us a bearish engulf. And you can imagine getting a bearish engulf um, again, getting a bearish engulf in the market breaking half. This is mind blowing because the sell has accepted. And then we cannot forget. We cannot forget the fact that this market can also give us a cap in handle. So never analyze when you're biased. So if, as you're watching this video, there's still an opportunity for this double top to give us a cap in handle. So just be careful not to say, oh, it's a sell, it's a sell. It can also become a buy. How does this become a buy if buyers break out of this area? So GBPUSD, you have two scenarios. You have scenario one, a double top and a cup and handle. So what you need to do is to be patient and to wait for the side the market will break. Imagine this is the easiest, um, this is the easiest part because when you're not biased, you don't even care where the direction will go because either way you'll make money. If they break there, you'll make money to TP1. If they if they break, they give us a bearish engulf and either they break half we have a sell opportunity. So either way, guys, you are not biased. So GBPUSD, stay away from it because today's news and also tomorrow is Wednesday, we have uh, the, the biggest news on USD pairs. So we, we will be seeing a movement, a big movement. And today they are just ranging 
maybe are waiting for that day. My prayers is that the news at 5 p.m. will help us to be able to know the direction of this market so that come tomorrow, uh, as we are waiting for the biggest news on the USD, will be uh, ready. So guys, always know that anytime you're analyzing the market, don't be biased. If a pattern refuses to do what you want, just flip back and you can you can uh you can just wait for the next pattern. I hope you have understood. This is GBP USD analysis and update. And in case it does something that is giving us an entry, I will definitely give you a hands up. All the best, guys. Love you. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, share it, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you.